Hello everyone, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, whatever I normally say. Hello, today I'm coming to you live with a Goodwill Blue Box Premium, for real this time, jewelry unboxing. Uh, if you are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And one of the things I like to sell and do a lot of videos about is jewelry because it's like a modern day treasure hunt. So today we are going to open a Goodwill Blue Box Premium box and I'll share with you what that is and where to find it because I get a lot of questions about where is this blue box I can never find it <clears throat> pardon so I will show you where that is before we get started but a little backstory on Good Friday is it Good Friday wait no what was it Black Friday Black Friday I knew that wasn't right on Black Friday I ordered the a couple of premium boxes as well as the Pandora boxes. And when they came in, I got the Pandora boxes and then I got two brown boxes like the ones I normally get, the repurposed. Cause I normally only ever just order the repurposed. I had never ordered the premium, but I thought it was a special occasion. I thought I would try it. So I didn't realize they had sent the wrong thing because I'd never gotten one before or watched any other videos of people. Maybe I should have done that first <laughs> to know what to expect. Anyway, I emailed them and they were really cordial and definitely were like, just, you know, here's a label, send it back. We'll send you the, the correct ones. So that was done. Also, as a side note, I also got a couple weeks ago, I had ordered six boxes because... I need more things anyway. And I only got two of them in and I waited and waited and waited. And after about two or three weeks when the others, cause I thought, well, maybe they came in separate shipments and they never came. And I emailed them and I'm like, Hey, look, I had the thing. It said I had six boxes, only two came and they ended up sending me the other four. So anywho, so let me share with you. I see you guys in the chat. Hi, hi, hi. I'll be there in a second. If you're looking Goodwill blue box and I'll show you the one. This is the one I got. Uh, if you go to the website, goodwillbluebox.com, oopsies, uh, there'll be a tab at the top called mystery boxes and there's all different ones, jewelry repurpose. That's the one I normally get cause I'm cheap and I like $30 more than $50. <laughs> and I like to dig truly. Uh, but this is the $50 one, the women's mix box. And as you can see, it says restocks Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, which is five my time. They're hard to get sometimes, it's true. So let's see what we're supposed to get in this premium. Then it used to be called premium. Now it's called Wick women's mixed jewelry box, curated and vintage jewelry finds. Each woman's mixed jewelry box contains 12 to 14 pieces of curated jewelry, sterling, 95, designer jewelry, recycled, curated, custom, custom. So it's supposed to be, I'm guessing like not broken or all of that fancy stuff. All right, let me come say hey in the chat and then we'll dive in and see what we got. I did take a sneak peek, a little bitty one. So hello, hello, Susan. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being here, Bad Biscuit. And as a side note, as we're saying hi, hi, hi. I can't pop everybody up. And I always feel bad because I'm like, I hate excluding people. If you were considering entering for the one minute speed dating thing, I promise we're going to get to the jewelry. You can roll your eyes, but just wait a second. Uh, my, I'm on my kid's computer right now because my computer died. And I'm getting a new computer Wednesday or Thursday. So you still have a little window. This computer is super hard to edit on and I can hear it working already just doing this. It's hopefully not too loud. <laughs> anyway, uh, designs and do-overs. Hi, that's a new name. I, I, some, I recognize a lot of names and sometimes I know, hi, Jewelry Witch and Rebecca, thanks for being here. Hello, Nola's Collectibles. Oh, Minnesota, how, okay, I am. I just wanna say hi to everybody. I hope you're having a really, oh, it's super jumped, sorry. Hello, hello, hello. And Brenda, I saw Brenda there. Hi, Brenda. I Yeah, we had a good Christmas. Actually, on a side note, we're going to just chat too. Okay, how about that? My Because my mom came, my dad and my mom came, which I know 
I try, you know, I was like, are you sure you want to do this? They felt safe because I just already had COVID. We already had COVID. So they were like, we're coming. Okay, fine. But then I'm glad they did because my mom ended up in the emergency room on Christmas Eve. And she ended up having to stay overnight and everything. Because if you remember a while back, my mom had like these strokes, mini strokes, TIAs. I think they were TI. Uh, anyway, but she'd been seeing her. Anyway, she had one or what we thought was one. And I, I'm glad that she was here for us to catch it. It ended up not being that though. It ended up, they think it's Bell's palsy. So we're dealing with that now. So I'll be going back to Houston with her whenever the time comes. The kids and I'll be packing up shop going to Houston. Anyway, so that's how our Christmas Eve and Christmas went. She's back home or here rather. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now for jewelry for real. I just wanted to catch you all up with everything. All right. So it's supposed to be 12 to 15 pieces. So we'll count it. It is bagged. As some of you were saying, that's not right. Whenever I opened them before and I was like, this isn't, this seems like a miss, like not a premium box. So it is all bagged up. Yay. I feel like there's more than 12 pieces here. That's not bagged. That's okay too. But we'll count it. We'll see what we got. All right. So that's the little box. I like the box. Cute. Let's do, let's do this one first. Ooh, I see something that looks Cinnabar-esque. We'll find out if it is or not. Here we go. So pretty though. All right. What have we got? What have we got? We have, this is a long, oh, we've got bonus hair. I need like a sound effect for that. Bonus hair in the trash. Okay. It really doesn't want to come out. We got bonus hair. All right. So we've got this beaded necklace with, they look like glass beads, kind of like a yellowy green gold color. What color would you call that? Gold, golden ish. The light's coming through it on my end. So it looks kind of yellowy green. And then it's got this fan. Let me hold it up for you. There you go. And that's upside down. But that's cool. Maybe somebody made this. Of what looks Cinnabar-esque, which I doubt that it really is Cinnabar. I did a whole video if you're wanting to like be able to tell if something is actually Cinnabar. Because Cinnabar is done, it's like a lacquer. And if I say the wrong word, y'all don't fuss at me. And it's done in layers. Can y'all see everything okay? Drop a line because I haven't seen the chat move and I'm really nervous about my kids, com this computer not being strong enough. Uh, but anyway, it's done in layers. They paint it on, let it dry, paint it on, let it dry, and then they carve down into it. So when you see, when it, to see if it's real Cinnabar, you'll see like the layers when you look at it, you know, and this one is not. It's just like a piece of red plastic that's been carved, but it's still cool. Oh dear, I'm worried that I'm frozen or something. Somebody say something in the chat. Oh no. So that, that's the first piece. I'm gonna keep plowing forward. Hopefully somebody drops a line. Oh good, you're seeing it. <laughs> I was like, I could just keep going and nobody hears me. <laughs> okay. I got tiny Dr. Peppers. Cause I'm trying, well, I quit drinking them for a while, but I got some tiny ones as a treat. I never could finish a whole one anyway. Okay, so, so far so good. Remember, this is a $50 box, so I need to be able to pull 50 bucks out of that. If I was to sell this, which I probably will, this would be something either I will sell by itself or it might be something that would end up in, I do subscription boxes uh, through my Patreon, like a monthly subscription jewelry box. So this is something I would either sell by itself or might end up in a subscription box because it's cool enough, I think nice enough to do like that. But I would think if I, I'm just guessing without having done any research, I would think I'd probably list it for, for 20 bucks or so, just cause it's cool. I think it's cool. Okay. Cool deal. <laughs> oh, yay. Uh, yeah, exactly. Brenda, my, yeah, my, my mom, I, I was grateful to read that, you know, and so we, she got medicine and drops and all of this stuff. And it's just like, oh, this year is like the year that just won't quit. So next we've got this bracelet and it's got, I like this star. It's got this sliding charm star. 
which is really cute. I've never really, does it stretch? Oh, it kind of stretches. That's fun. Oh, I don't normally wear stuff like this, but I like the star. I, I haven't worn my star earrings in a while, but I like things with stars on them. I like this because it looks like fancier, but it's a stretch. Hmm. All right. So again, if I were to sell this, probably looking at 15 or 18 bucks is what I probably put on it. There's my magnet. Magnet, magnet. No, that's the mandrel song. Okay. So it is magnetic. So not silver, but that's cool. I think it's still cute enough to sell. Bling. All right. So we've accrued maybe like 30 bucks back, right? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what she's worried about. Cause she knew somebody, my mom, she knows somebody too, that has had it for years. And so she's worried that it's not going to go away, but I, I'm trying to keep her positive. Like it's going to be okay, mom. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Yeah. All right. Next. Ah, Oh, me too, Karen. Yeah, they were really, I mean, truly, they were really good about it uh, this time. And then the other ones, when I emailed that I didn't get some of my boxes, they were very, they were on top of it. And whoever it was that messaged me, I can't remember the name of, I think it was a dude. I'm not good with names. Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you, I keep forgetting to mention that too. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. If you're like, I just want to see the jewelry. Shut up. Um <laughs> But yeah, I have a jewelry group called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, and I'm I am trying to be more active in it because I just it's hard sometimes because I get busy. And then I also have a Facebook just you know page Texas Gal Treasures, and then my Instagram, so you can come. I'm trying to detangle this. Follow me over there too. Yeah, all the links are down below if you're interested. I am trying to get this thing twisted around the right way. Yeah, I did it. Yay! At the last second. Okay, so here we've got this bracelet. And it's a triple strand, which is cool. I like that kind of snake chain. I'm not sure that's exactly the right name for that. And then it's got those lapis blue inset with some little blingy. They look like marcasite. Now, those are not actually lapis, I don't think. When you know, they're just like cobalt blue something. Usually when you look at lapis up close, you'll see some like gold flecking sometimes. I've had some that were, it was like so minimal, it was hard to see it. But even the back of this is pretty. They look like they're pressed leaves or something on the back. Aren't they nice? Now, oh, we do see a maker's mark. So that is Lucky Brand. Oh, that is so cute. Yay. That's a cutie. That matches my shirt today, y'all. And it's got bling. And I like the bling. Okay, so if I were to sell this again, I haven't looked it up, but my, my guess would be about $20. But again, this is another one that I think is nice enough that I would put in one of my subscription boxes. I know I keep talking about my subscription boxes. The gal's got to feed her kids. Sorry. <laughs> All right, next. Well, so what are we at now? Uh, 20. What did I say? 40. So I probably would have made my, piece, my money back on that. Okay. Then next up, I love... <laughs> Can I just say I love this one? I'm going to have a hard time selling this one if I sell it because I love bracelets that I don't know what it is. I love bracelets with safety clasps on them. And this one has a double. Like it just feels so cool. Like clonk, clonk. And you like safety clasp it down. So we've got this. It's got baguette style and round. So there's that. It looks like two baguette. Boom, boom. Do we think it is magnetic? So probably just crystals or something in there. Ah, Lucky Brand sells pretty well. Nola says, "Tell me, Nola, tell me your name, name again. Like you're, I can never remember people. It's hard. I can remember some, but it's like my brain can't. You know, you know somebody's like name, screen name." screen name and then the real name so i always like if i can i'll call you by your real name all right so that's really pretty i don't see any marks on it so um oh thoughts do i keep it and this one might be one that i like catch and release that i keep it for a while and then <laughs> release it into the wild <laughs> so yeah that's pretty cool particular because uh, it looks fancy 
it may it looks like I've got like a fancy almost tennis bracelet that I could not afford in real life, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, oh, did you? Yeah, my mom, New Year, uh, Christmas Eve, we ended up having to take her to the, the hospital because we thought she was having another stroke. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you made a, a full recovery. Oh, good. That's good to hear. I'll have to, my, I'm, I'm trying to get positive feedback for my mom. Yeah. Denise. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to do my best to remember that. But uh, to be fair, in real life, it takes me a few meetings for people of meeting people face to face because I'm that person that's like, tell me your name again. I swear I remember you, but I can't remember your name. <laughs> I'll get there. I'm trying to make a connection with Nola and Denise. Okay, I'll figure it out. Oh, Brenda, okay, I'll have to talk to you more about that. Oh, Lexi says I need to keep it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Stella, I need to feed the kids. This is true. I can't have it both ways. <laughs> well, I mean, and they felt, the kids felt bad because like I didn't get a lot for Christmas because that's just life. Right. But we, you know, the kids got a lot and they were like, what about you, mom? Like mommy gets, <laughs> mommy gets Christmas all year long with all of her unboxings. Yeah. All right. So next is another bracelet. This one is, I guess it's a, an expandable wire one, which, oh gosh, that would bother me because it keeps like jumping down, but it's got a little bird. And what does this say over here? Oh gosh, no, I'm gonna drop it, I dropped it. Heather says she can remember people's dogs, but not their names. I can't, I'm gonna have to get my loop. I can't see that through the camera. Hmm, I feel like I know this one. Hi. Yeah, I, from what I'm reading, it ha yeah, people get it and it, it, it can be triggered by different things. Evelyn Brooks, hmm. I feel like I've seen the, the logo, but I'm, I don't remember this name, Evelyn Brooks, or is it Evelyn, depending on how you pronounce it. That's another one for the, the Maker's Mark files in our group. That's like a beast. <laughs> we have a, a file, a section in our group for Maker's Marks and pictures of them and it's a beast. Thank goodness I have Mary and everybody else to help in there. All right. Oh, thank you. You guys are really encouraging about the, the Bell's palsy stuff. That's um, good to hear because I mean, she's being a trooper with it, but you know, she's got to be bummed. Yeah. Oh, you have a, gar a garnet color bracelet. I would definitely have trouble letting go of that one. then if it was garnet colored. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'll have to look that maker up. I just don't know that. Evelyn, what was it again? Baker? See, can't even remember her name. Just met Brooks. Ah, Evelyn Brooks. So truly, I don't know what this is worth. If it's not a maker that is really popular, this is probably not something that I'll sell by itself. Probably, unless it's like a fancy maker that I'm just like, it doesn't feel like it would be fancy though. Um, then it'll probably just end up in one of my like craft mix slots that I do. Yeah. Cause I probably wouldn't put that in a subscription box. Cause I try to do a little bit nicer stuff in those. Okay. Next. I, Oh, what are those beads? That's a good question. They are red and they feel like those seeds, right? They don't feel like, you know what I'm talking about? They feel like there's some kind of seed. You can see that they're painted in there. You know, they, I can't think of what the name of those seeds are, but I think they're brown usually. Oh, thanks, Karen. This was my grandma, those. And I was like, gorgeous, darling. I had to wear it. So I've been wearing it for the last few days. So it feels like Christmas because I never wear it. <laughs> but yeah, my, my grandma had gorgeous jewelry. I just, I don't wear it. I feel like she had this made because she would travel a lot and she would buy stones. And then she had a jeweler that she worked with that would like do the settings. Cause she, this was necklace was hers too. She liked things with like gold nugget. And so that, uh, from that jeweler guy. And so like the gold nugget um, style, like I feel like she probably bought the stone 
on her travels and then had it set when she came back. Uh, thanks for that super chat, Heidi. Hot flip, Heidi. Gals gotta feed her kids. It's true. Baby's got to, they don't need new shoes yet, but they always have growing feet, right? <laughs> they look like red M&Ms. They do. Oh, okay. Resale therapy looked it up. Yay. Bonus points. <laughs> Evelyn Brooks design pieces look to be 20 to 50 on average. Well, you know what? Ah, I clicked the wrong one. I'll have to set that aside and look that up. Okay. It doesn't look like it should be that fancy, but you know, you just never know. Oh, Barbara Wills, thank you so much for that. I'll have to click on that in a minute. Let's see. Several are 20-ish on Amazon. Okay, cool. All right. Still probably not one I would put in a subscription box but maybe one that I would sell solo. Cause I think if, I don't know, I don't know. I like some of the wow factor, you know? Okay. So here we go. How many do we have so far? One, two, three, four. Are we gonna have enough pieces? Five. Cause it's supposed to be what? 12 to 15? I'm trying to make sure. We gotta get our money's worth. Spend 50 bucks on this. All right, there looks like a necklace in here. Let me pull this out. It's hooked onto an earring. Hang on. So here we've got a necklace with some circles that, how would you describe that? Because they're not symmetrical circles. They're kind of like bent circles. But if you were going to describe this so a buyer could find it, you know, like you got this girl, she's like, okay, here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a necklace with some circles inside circles, but I don't want my circles inside circles to be like super straight. I want them to be kind of like bendy and weird a little bit, but not too weird, not super bendy, but a teeny bendy. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Now, what do I type in? <laughs> you know? So, uh, cause it's not bendy enough to be like, brutalist. It's minimal. <laughs> it's almost wavy. Um, like it's almost like it got run over, but just a little bit. <laughs> so Evelyn Brooks looks like, three. oh, that's good to know. Cool. Artsy, artsy circles, crude, wavy. Okay. This is a good exercise. We should do this in the group more often. What do you call this? Ready, go. Not just circles. They're like, <laughs> I know it'll come to me. I'll wake up in the night like, that's what it is. Asymmetrical, yeah. True, that would be good. What's another word I'm looking for? Not minimalist. Um, I can't think of it. It'll come, one of y'all will pop it in, I'm sure. So it looks like it's hung with some leather. Is that leather? Yeah, looks like some leather knotting. You like artsy warped circles. There we go. Warped. And then it's on a nice chain. Now then, do we have a maker's mark? This is a fossil. Come here, you fossil. There it is. Fossil. Reminds you of bent bicycle wheels. Battered rings. <laughs> exactly. Not true. Modernist. Organic. There we go. Yes. These are good ones. Cool. Yes. I think it's meant to be that way. I think. Because I'm not able to like really bend it. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Oops. Um, it's meant to be that way. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Yeah, fossil's a good one. Mm, I'll have to look that up because I know there are people that like fossil. The chain's a nice chain. Probably at least 20 bucks. All right. I think we're going to make our money back. Yep stylized, concentric, yay, bohemian. Oh, those are good ones. Fossils, yeah, fossils are a good brand. All right, next up, we've got, oh, these are fun. Mm, maybe. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's all Jan. I, I am doing better. That, you know, because we had COVID. The kids and I had COVID for like ever. It felt like forever. I shouldn't say that because some people have it really, really bad, but it was awful, even as mild as we had it. And so we're, we're doing better. The smell thing sometimes isn't, and I'm trying to build back my stamina because it's still kind of hard to do a lot, which is weird. Like I get, I don't get tired super easy, but 
I can only do things in bursts. And we finally, today I went for a walk with the kids and uh, I'm just trying to build up my, like I said, my stamina. Yeah. Hi, hi y'all. Okay. So here are these earrings. They are hoop earrings like so. Let me show you one. And then it's got this little dangly bit at the bottom <laughs> with a bling. But look at this back, y'all. I love this. I love little details like this on jewelry. I love it. So it's got this kind of like barrel. I'm sure there's a special name for that. And it's got little bling too. So in case you got somebody inspecting the back of your ear, they've got some bling to look at back there too. And I think I see, yeah, there's a mark there. So I'm going to have to go in and look at it. Who do we have? Kors. Okay, so this is like a Michael Kors. I like the little detail of the bling on the stopper. I will definitely have to look these up. Let's see how they look on, on me, though. Hmm. I like things that you get more bling from this direction than this way. Like, you can see it from the side. But they are cute, aren't they? So yeah, those I'll either sell or put in a subscription box. Cute, but I'll have to look it up. But I'm guessing at least 20 bucks. Oh uh, yeah. I saw, let's see. Hi, friends. Oh, the, the fossil, no, let's see. I don't I don't believe it was sterling. Does fossil do sterling? They might. Or do they? It's not, it's not attracting to the magnet, but I don't think it's sterling. No, I don't see any marks for that. It could be other things, stainless steel or, or something else. Probably. I don't know. I could also look this up. I mean, somebody else may have it for sale or I can... Oops, do some people keep track of fossil <laughs> jewelry? What they've put out and stuff? Probably. All right, next, these are some post earrings. I'm going to try to extract them from each other, extract them. They're connected together. I'm trying to get them apart. All right. I'm going to show you one quiz time. Tell me if you know what it is. It's easy. You can do it. Do you know what this is? I bet you do. Bonus points. If you can tell me the name for the color bonus quiz time. All right. This it looks like they're probably sterling. Let me go in and look. I'm going to wait before I tell you what it is. Ah, fossil sterling plated. Thank you. Yep, these are silver. <laughs> these are silver. And then I'm looking to see. Email me, Auntie K, because I won't remember. <laughs> but that way I can, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, Baltic amber, red amber. What do you think? So do you would you call this one cherry? It's harder for me. It looks redder in the camera than, or do you think cognac? Because there's a cognac amber too, yeah? I always mix it up with Bakelite though. Sometimes a lot of ambers have food names, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is amber. You can see the inclusion. I did, I've done some videos about amber. It's been a while, but that's not like a regular inclusion. It's called like a, I think it's called a sunburst where they reconstitute the amber, you know, and they, when they make other stuff and then they take all the pieces, and they melt it back together. And sometimes if I'm saying this wrong, like water or something gets trapped. And so it creates these little like burst patterns in there. And so that's what you're seeing in there. Sometimes you'll see flecks of other stuff. Hello. First time catching me live. Thanks, Vintage by Holly. Okay. So those are some nice amber. My, my mom loves amber, but she doesn't wear earrings. So I'm safe selling or putting those in a box. We're cool. Cherry or cognac. Yeah. Cute. Also, when you touch amber, it's, um, it's like room temperature. It's not cold or anything. And it floats. But it won't, these won't float because the metal will drag them down. You will drag them down, metal. Um, it's really fun. It's really fun to learn about that. Also, probably not technically amber because it's hard to date that. But there's copal, ooh, um, which is still old and like amber, but not as old. Ah, thank you, Hudson Vintage. My lovely nails. <laughs> thank you. 
Yeah, I I have a link for my nails down below. All right, next. What, oh yeah, this one. Yeah, it doesn't have a bug in it. It's just like little bursts. So it looks like what we have next is a set of something. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, darling. Oh, I feel like I need my tester. I don't know what this is. So we've got this beautiful pink. I feel like I have a green one like this. I, I feel like I do, but the stone is green, but it looks the same way on the inside like that. Ah, what is this? Isn't that beautiful? So it's got these, they're faceted. I wish you could see from the light coming through this way because it's really like a magenta-y. So, so pretty. Oh, yay, Resale Therapy joined the channel. Yay, thank you. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a chain-linked bracelet. Looks like silver. We may have to get our... Oh, I'm going to say conundrum, but that's not the right word. Corundum? Is that what it is? I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, but I feel like I had a green one that was like that. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna pull up my other window and I'll share. Hang on, see. Uh, is it, oh gosh. Pink, I feel like this is it. I feel like this is it. Are we on the right track? Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. I'm gonna share, screen share. Ready, set, go. Cor I could be totally wrong. Corundum, Cor if I'm saying this right. Corundum pink. Because I feel like I have a gr green one like this, you know. See, see how this one has got. It's kind of it kind of looks almost like fractured on the inside, like layered and fractured and stuff. Like really, I mean, it's not clear. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure there's a more specific pink random a member of the Sapphire family. Because remember, I had the green ring, and they were set even the same way, and it was it was registering over there with like the sapphires and stuff, but the heart, that's the hardness. Anyway, so let's look. Pink random bracelet. Those aren't right. This is more like darker. Okay, we'll do a little more digging later, but look, see, there you go. Plated, that's a ruby corundum. So yeah, I bet you that's what that is. I bet you, I bet you. You bet you, bet you, bet you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think that's probably what's going on there. I think it's pink corundum because I have a green one that looks just like that. But look, there's like a set. I'm not done. But wait, there's more. There's a ring. Gorgeous. It's got some spiral work along the side. This is where we need the mandrel song. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got, I'm trying to hold it up and find the mandrel. If you got the mandrel, then you are it. I'm it. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, do we, are we looking, we're trying to get 100 likes. Yay, Barbara Ann. Okay. Set that goal. Here we go. Go down there and hit the thumbs up. So our probably pink corundum ring is five and three quarters, almost a six. It, it'll kind of push down to a six. It fits me on that hand. Beautiful. It's really pretty though, huh? Okay, so there's the ring. And then there's another bracelet that looks like this. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? So, like so, like so. And it's got a toggle clasp. Like it makes me wonder if somebody was making jewelry and just had a bunch of them were like, let's just make a bunch of corundum. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> yeah, it matches. They're, they all match. And there's a necklace coming up. Yep. This is really pretty. It feels very substantial. It's awesome. So I'll have to look that up and how much that would... Um, because would we call it bezel set if the stone is faceted? This is what I need to know. Because I know, like, that's like a bezel setting, right? <laughs> I need to go back and review. But I guess you can have bezels. We'll do a little Google search. Let me show you the necklace, and then we'll search it. Okay, then 
Oh, look at it. Look at this gorgeous, beautiful piece, darling. Oh my goodness. So then we've got this beautiful piece. Oh, isn't it pretty? Okay, I think I'm gonna make my 50 bucks back. And then it's got a S clasp, what you call that? Beautiful. Let's take a peek. I'm gonna do a quick search. Bezel set, faceted, pink, corundum. And see what we come up with. Bezel set, faceted, pink, corundum. Oh, come on, computer. I'm gonna put jewelry. And let's let me come over here and see what we found. Ah, screen share. One, two, three. Where's the button? There it is. <laughs> there. Okay. I think that's probably what we have, right? Here's um, some different. Let me make that bigger and me smaller. 25 more likes, peeps. All right. Yeah. That looks really like what we've got here is this ruby stone ring corundum gemstone. Yeah. Okay. Let me click on shopping so we can see what some of these prices look like because that's what we need to know. Ah, see, here's a green one. Like I have a ring with green like that. That's what just the inside of the stone looks the same. Only the pink. Come on. Where's the other ones that we were looking at? I'm going back. I'm going back. Sorry, it's going to scroll fast. I'm going to click on, let's see which one looks the closest. That's similar ish. Let me open it in a new tab. This one, $11. Wah, wah. No, no, no. Unacceptable. Oh, here we go. This looks really a lot like what we've got. The bracelet, especially. This is on Amazon. What does Amazon say? Oh, that's more like it. Yes, darling, of course. $550 is way more like it. I agree. <laughs> that seems more reasonable, naturally. Ooh, Star Ruby. Mm hmm. Okay, let's look at this one. This one, $11. No. Okay, sorry. We're just going to sit here and research these for a hot second. All right, one more. That one says it's on Etsy. And survey says, what are you selling for? Hang on. I need to make my screen longer that way. $11. No. <laughs> Where did my, where'd my other one go? That's better. Now we're talking. There. Okay. Stick with that price. <laughs> okay, so cool. Yeah, I think it's awesome, though. I think they're really striking. I think that they'll sell. And I think I can get more than $11 for sure. For sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. The $11 one is tiny. I think, I think that I could get more, truly. I mean, some of them are really nice. I just think it's, I think it's so pretty. I'm trying to put it on my skin so you can really see the, I would have to change the nail colors. Here she goes again. Looking at the nails. All right. Beautiful. Right, uh, yeah, I'll definitely, and I recommend that. To, if, even though it's marked 925, definitely check it out. That's a good reminder though, for sure. Uh, check out, you know, test your stuff. And I have a, I use a testing kit I got from Amazon. I know you can get them other places. Not magnetic, that's a good first sign. But for sure, if you, once you get to that point, when I first, first, first started selling, I didn't have the money to buy a testing kit. They're really not that expensive though. <sighs> Depending on how much you get, like between 30 and 50 bucks. You can probably get it cheaper somewhere too. Uh, but it's worth it, you know, being able to verify that you've got <clears throat> silver or gold or whatever and not just trusting whatever stamped. Okay. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the bare minimum. But I, yeah, I like, I think it, will I continue to get premium boxes? I don't know. <laughs> I have one more over there that I will open up another day. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how this little computer, it's like the little engine that could uh, try to keep up with me. So I'm going to look. 
real quick through the chat and make sure I didn't miss anything. And I think for sure I'll make my money back. And if not, I also have some nice pieces for, for subscription boxes. So that's nice too. It's like getting some good stuff for sure to put in those, which I need to do for the rest. Cause I still have to do my December ones. Cause everything was crazy with COVID and everything before. So I still have to get those out this week too. So if you're a member, I mean, if you, if you're waiting on your December subscription jewelry box from me, it's coming. I'm going to get it ready this week. Maybe I'll do that today and get it out in the mail tomorrow. That's a plan. Okie dokie. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. Oh, look, Mo's here. I remember your name. <laughs> Unless I'm totally wrong. You're like, um, it's not Mo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. And yeah, let me know you were here. Leave me a Comment down below and find me over on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures. Oh my gosh, Nick and Andrea are here. I can't sign off yet. Ha <laughs> ha, hello. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. And yeah, there's my train of thought. I think that's it. All right, I will talk to you on the next one, y'all. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>